What's up, my Liberty lovers? Happy National Ghostbusters Day, June 8th. June 8th is Ghostbusters Day because it was June 8th, 1984, that the first movie opened. But today we're talking about our favorite harbor chick, the Statue of Liberty. Yes, that's right, Miss Lady Liberty, the Liberty enlightening the world, featured in Ghostbusters 2, which debuted June 16th, 1989. All right? Now, it turns out Dan Aykroyd and company considered making the Statue of Liberty the villain in Ghostbusters 1. So instead of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man showing up, it would have been the Statue of Liberty that he thought of as, you know, the final battle boss. But they ultimately uh, pretty quickly decided uh, that that would be insensitive to New York and fans of uh, Miss L L Lady Liberty. Okay, I got a handful of cultural objects to show you concerning the Statue of Liberty from the Mini Mates. There she is, Toys R Us exclusive with the possessed Janos. And it says, The Statue of Liberty, symbol of freedom for generations, comes to life on New Year's Eve via a healthy coating of positively charged mood slime piloted through the streets of New York by the Ghostbusters for a date with Vigo the Carpathian. Okay. Lovely Miss Liberty in very miniature form. I think, I, I gotta go ahead and acknowledge, I think it's Ghostbusters 2, is how I fell in love with the Statue of Liberty because it, she's an active, moving character in the film. On, uh, you know, National Planet of the Apes Day, I showed you my Statue of Liberty collection with that. But that was a much older movie. What had an impact on my youth was Ghostbusters. And I gotta figure out a way to get the tablet turned around. But the reason I bring that up already so immediately, I think when I was a kid, I thought that the Statue of Liberty had an open flame. Because uh, in the movie, they. Push. Well, okay. They fill the Statue of Liberty with the positively charged pink slime. They play higher and higher on a Walkman. By ha who? Uh, I wrote down Howard Hungsbury or something. <laughs> sung that version. And then, she, you know, off her pedestal, wades across the harbor, and, uh, you know, saves the day. She's the hero of the movie. But yeah, 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 she's carrying an open flame through the streets. Ah, it's cut off here. Okay, so I got uh, three of the trading cards from 1989. And this is from the Cryptozoic board game. Let's look at this real quick. I do have most of these, and I have a bunch of Marvel Mini Mates too. I don't think I've ever put any on video. But this is from the Cryptozoic board game. You can see they've installed the speakers. They're going to go uh, marching through the New York City streets. Not not Janos, but I'll put them up there for fun. And anyway, I, I don't own the whole game. I've never played the game. I was just able to purchase this piece on eBay. I have no idea why they made it this color instead of Liberty Green. But this is very cool to finally open and finally show you. And additionally, we'll talk about those trading cards in this pen. Very cool. So, you know, I want to display this with my Playmobil figure and the Lego minifigure, of course. Okay, the 1989 trading cards by Tops. I'm trying to make sure they are by Tops. It says 89 Columbia Pictures. Maybe they're not by Tops. Tops surely would have written on these. 83, 73, and 74 feature Lady Liberty in the trading card series. And this says, The Libby Express, Vinkman, Winston, Stans, and Spingler stand in the observation window in the crown of the Statue of Liberty. They've just finished hosing the inside of the statue with psychoreactive slime, and now they're, the, now they're ready to take her for a walk. Okay, there's our heroes. I'm going to put a picture on this screen to show you the sense of actual scale. Uh, th this will be Ronald Reagan and Nancy Reagan in the crown. 
But here, here's something interesting I was researching. So, uh, you know, I've mentioned a few times, Statue of Liberty, bottom of the pedestal to top of the torch is usually the measurement advertised. That's 305 feet. But half that dimension, basically, from her foot to the top of the torch, that's the statue. So we've subtracted the pedestal. That'd be 151 feet. Okay? But I just looked it up. What is the height of her foot to the top of her head? And that is 111.5 inches. Well, guess how tall the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is? I just said inches, huh? Stupid. Okay, Statue of Liberty, just as a human, not raising her arm, foot to head. So walking through the streets of New York, there is a 111.5 foot tall lady. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is only one foot taller, 112.5 feet. So what I've always wanted to see, I can't believe this doesn't exist, is a t-shirt or a pin with, you know, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and Lady Liberty. They're the same height, buddy, buddy arms around each other. And this doesn't make any sense with the scale of the mini-mates. They really should have done one of those uh, large mini-mates. Let's just say maybe two to three times taller than a regular one. But whatever. At least it's a figure that exists. And I can put it in my collection, like I said, with the Playmobil and the uh, Lego. Okay, there it is. There, 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 there she is. Beautiful practical effect. The statue literally is a symbol of New York's goodness. Marches into town, squashing cars on her way to the museum. Finally, Vinkman spots the building and realizes that Dana is trapped inside. So the building's covered with the slime, the possessed slime. But they put the slime in. Lady Liberty charged it positively with, you know, glee and happiness. And what's the deal with that museum anyway? It's not the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's called the Manhattan Museum of Art. It's made up. But the actual location is the Museum of... I think it's called like the Native American Museum or something. Final card to show you from this card set. It's kind of a BTS trading card. Filming Lady Liberty's Walk. The Ghostbusters 2 film crew surround the giant Liberty Dome prop used extensively in the climax of the movie. Okay, spoiler alert for 1989 movie. Lady Liberty saves the day. It's a love letter to New York. That's another thing with... Somebody make a t-shirt or a pin with the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and Statue of Liberty. Both of the first two movies were love letters to New York. I swear, that's why I grew up wanting to go to New York and why I wanted to see Miss Lady Liberty in person. Now, the final object here is a pin from an Etsy seller called Proton Pins. Double pin post, and she does a lot of cool Ghostbusters-inspired pins, and is the only one with Lady Liberty and it does say Harbor Chick, because when the boys are in the crown and they begin their march, because they got to wait across the harbor, uh, Vinkman says, well, one of the other dudes says something like, I don't think they make Nikes her size. And Vinkman says, don't worry, she's tough. She's a Harbor Chick. Okay, that's what, that, that's what this means. Okay, Proton Pins, how about you do my idea? I had one more idea for it, but the more I think about it, because it's the same height. And the, 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 the two iconic symbols, besides Slimer, because that was my other, but the two iconic symbols of the Ghostbusters franchise. I just want, I just want to see them like buddy buddy hanging out. That's your liberty. Stay with Marshmallow. The other thing I'd love to see is just because Love Letter New York. I'd love to just see Slimer, Slimer just being Slimer, holding a torch and wearing a crown. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That's my two favorite colors of green at this point. Vertigrade Liberty Green, and of course, like a neon sort of slime green. Okay. I think <clears throat> that's about all I got to tell you. If you like this one, you might like the Liberty Insanity I did on National Trading Card Day. And I did one on Doctor Who Day because of the Weeping Angels. And you might want to see the one I did for Planet of the Apes Day. This has been Liberty Insanity 46. National Ghostbusters Day. If you know of any other Ghostbusters merchandise featuring the Statue of Liberty, let me know. Because that's what I do. I collect it so you don't have to. Right, thanks again. Thanks for the big thumbs up and goodbye.